Hey Crawl Nation. So it is January 15th, 5 30 in the morning. We are loaded up and headed to Virginia. We've got a surprise for you. So y'all know about our buggy and the Hellboy. So we're headed to Virginia to pretty much get a surprise toy for our son and see how this works. If you guys have not subscribed to our page, go ahead and do that. That would be greatly appreciated. 5.30 yeah. in the morning, so yeah. super early, extremely early. <laughs> um, if you like, comment, and share, y'all stay tuned for and don't forget, the surprise. Don't forget to subscribe. We need it. <laughs> so stay tuned for the surprise. I'll keep you guys updated. so we just crossed into Virginia state line there's the buggy there's the trailer check to make sure that everything's good still tight there's the truck it is I think it's about 23 degrees so we need a bathroom break and we're about I think we're about two and a half hours away from our destination I'm actually really excited. I didn't think I was going to be this excited um, to do a surprise for our son just because, um, yeah, I'll see. You'll see why. Um, it's cold. I'm about to get in the truck and keep going. All right, guys. So we're about, I don't know, 45 miles from our destination <clears throat> to do what we're supposed to do or what we're plan on doing. Um, honestly, this has been a pretty draining trip because we ran into some issues with our truck. Um, the truck that I'm driving, the dually, <clears throat> just a few electrical things that came out. Um, so it's taking us a little bit longer to get there. But honestly, I cannot wait to see my son's reaction what he does when he sees this beast so y'all know what kind of deep he's into um so that should be interesting all right stay tuned all right guys so we have arrived to our destination and yeah it's freezing i think it's like 19 degrees right now i'm freezing my ass off i would say balls off i don't have <laughs> but yeah Oh well, wish I had the Jeep with me, babe. I would so try to climb on this. Well, this is the last time we get to unload this one.
So this is like a trade-in spot right here. Now that thing is badass. Look at that. So the XJ is loaded on the trailer. This thing is so freaking awesome. And it's orange. The one passenger side needs a little attention. But. What do you think, baby? This bitch is bad. How do you think Christopher's gonna react to this? Um, <clears throat> hey, we might see that boy cry. <laughs> I know. I mean, like, really, he might cry. Like, XJ is his life. Like, he likes. It. Yeah. I like this because it's not just an XJ; it's a buggy. Like, it's a, pretty much a buggy. Yeah. I mean, look at the boat size on that thing. The only thing that I see <clears throat> is I'm gonna have to make a plate for here. Over here. To cover this up, this yeah. hole here, and the same thing on the passenger side. I'm gonna have to do, and also, um, I might have to clearance a little bit here. And the uh, the um, coilover on the passenger side needs to be rebuilt. It's not that bad. Like, you can wheel it now, but the coilover does need to be rebuilt. All right, well, we're on the road. On our way home. We got some home. pretty nice mountains over there. But anyways, we're on the way home. And um, it's been a long day already. It's been, yeah, it's been a long day already. We still got four and a half hours, four and a half hours to go. So, I mean, that'd be like I mean, nine hours of driving. Yeah. So, nine hours. Nine hours of solid driving. Well, Pete would be driving four and a half hours, and I would be driving straight nine. Yeah, at least he was driving straight nine. I only drove four and a half, but I'm not a driver either. No, he does not. I'll go to sleep on your ass, quick. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, we come down here and got what we was after. We don't really have nothing against XJs or nothing like that. We're, but I mean, I just, but we're. We've just we, never had one. That I mean, no, we, we had one. We had Lady Liberty. Yeah. You know, but I mean, and then we got Chucky, which I gave it to Chris, not knowing that he would just slam, fall in love with them. Right. You know, I gave it to him because it was cheap and I figured it was something he could wheel for a little while. That thing went downhill the minute we gave it to somebody that didn't work yeah, on. Yeah. So, <clears throat> um, anyways, so that's really the reason behind this one here. And this one right here is borderline. I mean, it's the XJ. It's a full body XJ, you can say, but it's built like a buggy. I mean, it's got 42s and, um, Three lane, triangulated four link in the rear, uh, Kingpin Dana 60, and a 14 volt uh, spool front rear. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a bad mumbo jumbo. But I think it, one thing we're going to have to do is build um, bump stop pads for it. Uh, then we're going to have to, uh, yeah, build bump stop pads, the passenger side coilover is going to have to be rebuilt and 
so we know the issues already. Transmission. We got the, but we got a transmission with it when we got it. The old one, the war out one is still in it, but we got the good transmission with the Jeep as well. I just got to take one out and put one in. <clears throat> but other than that, I mean, it's, it's, I've done seen videos of it, Will. Um, so, Rouse Creek. Yeah, and it's done stuff at Rouse Creek with these. Some, some nice trails down there. So, But anyways, um, yeah, so maybe we'll update you. We'll update you more once we get to the house. And, um, yeah. I can't wait to see his reaction. Yeah, that's that's the main thing. Is Chris, his reaction. Um, I mean, he's been heartbroken for a while because because of how it's done. The other dude dumb. You know, we're not going to go into detail. Yeah, it's just, just forget it. That's why we're moving on. Yep. And I'm gonna keep the engine and the transmission out of his his tag that Chris has now. It's key for this one here. And uh and in everything else, I'm hopefully I can give it to somebody if they'll come and put the transmission in this Jeep for me. And it's already got long arm kids, seven inch lift, springs, new springs, all that shit. It's got lockers and the, the uh axles from under here. So anyways, we'll update you once we get to the house. And uh, unless I see something cool while we're going down the road, you might see some other clips. But if not, we'll see you at the house and you get to see Christopher's reaction. We'll see you in about four and a half hours. But it'll be just minutes for you. All right, guys. So we just got home. Here's the kids. They have not seen, well, Christopher hasn't seen the Jeep yet. Um, I guess we're going to find out what he thinks of it. Yep. Let's go check it out. All right, let's go. All right. Christopher. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, right there. Open your eyes. <gasps> what do you think about that, dude? <laughs> you like it? Huh? <laughs> He's like, hold on, let me get in it. Michael, what do you think of the Jeep? <laughs> you want to get in? Here, go ahead, climb up. It's okay. Here, let's put you in. What are you doing, Christopher? Come here, Mikey. Probably lights. That's how you pull the steering wheel down. It's a little bit newer one than yours. Your other one back there. How old is this? 99? I don't know. <laughs> so that's cool, so what, 92 or 94? Yeah. <clears throat> Christopher, what do you think? No, the seats don't, the backs don't move on. They're stationary. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mom, are we picking? Yeah, baby, go ahead. <laughs> what do you think, Mikey? <coughs> Christopher, can you help me, help him get in? help, Jay, man. Yeah. It's 42. Probably has lockers. It oh, it definitely has lockers. It's got a, it's got a spool in the front Michael, what do you back. think? Is that your that seat? Those are called boot sides. Is that where you're going to sit? You see that third seat in the middle? Mm hmm. Oh, my God. I love this. I love this. It's so skeletal. 
You like the roll cage? I like trash. <laughs> Let's pull it down and see. <laughs> and you can hold on to the roll bars. Okay, Mike. Look, the new transmission is in the very back right here. Very, very back. Why are you going to the front? So what's going on, boys? Well, the bad transmission is. That's it. It's no good. Good thing we got the other one back there. So we're gonna have to push this thing backwards with the old dinner. Put the bumper to bumper, push it backwards. And then once you get back there, stop, and then I'm gonna turn her go around you and push you from the back all the way up to there. You want me? Mm-hmm. Come on. Unfortunately, the Jeep's transmission is done. It wouldn't go in gear, it wouldn't drive, it wouldn't do nothing. Um, <clears throat> so Pete Hat was pushing it with his bumper and we broke his fender and messed up his um, headlights. So unfortunately, Lisi is gonna have to replace this and replace this. Yes, because all that was on video. It's as real as it gets. <clears throat> Other than transmission, um, I think Jeep is good. Right? It's a nice show, Rick. <clears throat> yeah. I didn't realize the boat size, that what it does to a Jeep, how you have to cut a Jeep. To make it work. Like, look at all that floor you have to yeah. cut out. I think it's still to pretty it, badass. It work, you know? Yeah. It has what? <clears throat> no. Bump stops. Oh, yeah. I do have to build some bump stop pads for it. I haven't even seen the entire Jeep. Look at that. Comes <clears throat> with an extra transmission. <laughs> zip ties it's an xj thing actually it's a jeep thing i might cover that up eventually too we'll see you know what i mean yeah <clears throat> but yeah so there's the transmission for it right there all right take one out and put this one in Yep. So, if anybody wants to come and help me to <coughs> own an XJ, <clears throat> if they want to come help me get the transmission out and this one put in, um, I'll give them an XJ um, with long arms, one ton steering axles with the lockers and everything the only thing is you got to help me get this transmission put in this one and get like it just get the transmission of this one put in this one and you can have that whole jeep back there and it's got transmission engine i was going to keep the transmission engine for this in case something happens to it uh -huh. but if you help me get this one up and going with this new transmission I'll give that whole Jeep, Jeep away. It will. You have to bring your own tires and rims. Yeah. The whole Jeep has got 
lockers in the front and rear axles. It's got a long arm kit, seven inch lift, um, brand new one ton steering from Cab Fab. Like it's got some really good parts on it. So yeah, let me know.